There's a great deal of involvement in politics at every level by the Universal House of Justice and its de facto clergy, the Baha'i administration. And whether that's U.S. government, England, it is a, a definite fact. You can be an ordinary everyday Baha'i in some community in Denver uh, all your life and, and not realize what's going on. With David Kelly, there are enormous and profound questions of the Baha'i administration involvement. A lot of American Baha'is are from the peace community. Uh, they don't like war and they, they felt that this is an aggressive war. But in this instance, the Universal House of Justice ordered the Baha'is not to demonstrate against the Iraq war under any way, shape, or form. Nothing with that name. No, I think she's in Virginia. I'm not, I'm not quite sure where she is now. She was very good in Arabic, and uh, that's how she met David Kelly. If you're thinking about David Kelly, uh, David became a Baha'i in our house. I mean, they never talked about what they did, but uh, I assume she was his translator in Iraq. We had a group here and we were studying uh, the Baha'i writings on life after death and the telephone rang and it was Maya and she said, David's dead. Um, he so, said, and also, don't believe everything you read in the newspapers. They didn't know who to blame that war on, depending on who you talk. Better be uh, a little careful here, I don't know. Baha'is look at uh, Baha'u'llah's announcement in Baghdad as the true beginning of uh, the Baha'i faith. And, uh, that is partly why the uh, whole uh, upheavals of late with Iraq are very important to contemporary Baha'is and the Universal House of Justice, I, I dare say.